So, how do you hook up a projector to a laptop? This video tutorial will show you how. First, begin by carefully removing the laptop and projector from their cases and placing them on a sturdy level surface such as a table. You're going to want to keep in mind where you'll be projecting the image. It's best to have a projection screen, but you could use a blank white wall if you had to. You'll also need to position your projector at the appropriate distance from your screen. This will depend on the projector you're using and the size of your screen. Generally, you can start off with trying out your projector approximately 12 to 20 feet and adjust closer or further away from the screen as needed. But before we can turn the projector on, we'll need to hook everything up. Your projector should have a black power cord that looks something like this. It can also look like this or this. Plug this end into the projector and the other end into a power outlet, power strip, or extension cord. This cable is used to connect the projector to the laptop. It's our video cable, or sometimes called VGA cable. The ends are D-shaped and keyed so that it can only be plugged in one way. One end will be plugged into your projector video input and the other end will plug into your laptop video output. At this point, you might want to connect your laptop's AC power cord to power as well so that you can ensure that the batteries won't die on you while you're giving your presentation. Now that the laptop and the projector are hooked up, you can turn both on. It really doesn't matter which order you power the projector and the laptop on. The power button on most projectors can be found on the top of the projector. Some projectors may have a black main power switch on the back that needs to be switched on first. Once you press the power button on the projector, it will begin to turn on. The power LED indicator will blink or change color, usually from red or orange to green. A fan inside the projector will also turn on. It's important to keep this fan clear of any blockages in order to keep the projector from overheating. You will also begin to notice a blank blue screen being projected. The image will be faint at first, but within a minute or so, your image should be nice and bright on the screen. Now is a good time to move the projector closer or further away from the screen. You can also adjust the zoom on projectors to fine tune that adjustment. The zoom is usually controlled by twisting a ring around or near the lens. Most projectors have expandable feet that can raise the angle of the projector and elevate the projection higher up on the screen. There are usually buttons on the side of the projector that release these legs. Next we need to make sure that the projector is set for the appropriate input. There are usually a number of inputs that a projector can have and we need to choose the one that we connected our cable to previously. Did you notice when we plugged in the video cable that the connection was labeled? In this case the connecting port was labeled PC1 in. When I press the input button on the projector it shows which input I currently have selected. When I press it repeatedly it cycles through all the possible inputs on the projector. In this case, it will show PC1 in and PC2 in and all the other possible inputs. On most projectors, there are only three or four of them. Also note that some projectors have a source button instead of an input button. These two terms are synonymous when it comes to projectors. The next step is a critical one, and that is to enable your laptop to output the video to the projector. The procedure for this step varies from laptop to laptop. It involves pressing the function key and another key on the function row. Look at the function row for a symbol that looks like a monitor. With this laptop, the combination of keys is function and F4. You'll need to press it and hold the function key while pressing the other key. While you press these keys, it will change the video output. When you press the keys repeatedly, it will cycle through three settings, showing the laptop screen only, showing the projector screen only, and showing both at the same time. So now I have the screen showing up on the laptop and the projector, but the projection is a little blurry. We can twist another ring around the lens to focus our projection until we are in focus. And that's all there is to it. 
Once you're finished with your presentation and are ready to tear everything down, begin by turning the projector off. Most projectors will require you to press the power button twice in order to turn it off. When you power a projector off, keep the power cord plugged in until all the fans have stopped. It will run the fans during the powering down in order to cool the internal components of the projector. This could take a minute or more depending on what the internal temperature is. The power light will blink or turn orange as it's cooling down after powering it off. Once the fan has stopped and the light has stopped flashing or is turned red, you can unplug all of the cables and place the equipment back into its bag or case. If a projector is still very warm to the touch, it's a good idea to let it cool down some more before putting it away. Here are some other important tips and information. Try your equipment out before your presentation. That's right, a little preparation. Being prepared for your presentation will help you relax and it will ensure that everything is in good working order. Plus, it can help you discover any glitches and prevent you from panicking in front of your audience. Never operate a projector in extreme temperatures. Don't leave a projector in your car in the winter and turn it on without allowing it to warm up to room temperature. The rapid increase in temperature could cause the bulb inside the projector to rupture. Turn the projector off whenever you don't need to use it. Projector bulbs can be very expensive. Most of them are usually $300 or more each. Turning the projector on only when you need it will help lengthen the life of the bulb. If you're having trouble getting anything to display, double check your cable connections making sure everything is plugged in securely. Also check to make sure you press the appropriate function keys to display the screen on the projector. If the projector will not turn on, make sure the projector is plugged in to a working power outlet and check to make sure the power switches are on. Don't forget that some projectors have a black rocker switch on the back that needs to be turned on as well.